Are you a cottage food operator? Are you creating food products from a kitchen? Are you looking to create a packaged food business? Well, if you love food and you want to turn it into a full-time business and you're trying to figure out how to create a presence online, I have a resource for you that is a complete game changer for everyone who is food entrepreneurs looking to create an online website. Very simple to do, zero listing fees, zero monthly fees, and guess what? It is absolutely free to sell on this platform. I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how Cast Iron is a game changer for food entrepreneurs, for those looking to have an online presence, and we're going to get to that right now. All right, so as I mentioned back in the introduction, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how Cast Iron actually has created a software program that allows you, the food artisan, to create a website and have a website online presence dedicated solely to the food entrepreneur. Now, there are tons of, of course, websites out there that you can sell on eBay, Amazon, and so on, and even Shopify and Weebly. But out of all of those, even those that I have experience with, there's no one that's close to what they have offered specifically dedicated to the food entrepreneur from selling features to different ways that you can list the product to everything on the back end of the, of the actual website building process is solely dedicated to a food entrepreneur, which makes this a huge kind of a game changer in a sense when it comes to cottage food selling, if you have a kitchen-based food business, if you're creating a packaged food product, if you're simply looking to have a very simplistic but yet effective way to create a website, Cast Iron has got everything down to a science. So I'm gonna walk you through, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna have two separate videos. This video will be the first half of the features. I wanna show you how they work. We're gonna create a store, and then the second part of that too, we'll follow through with the remaining features um, to get you launched and online, and literally in a matter of just probably a couple of hours, you'll be up and running. Um, so I'm gonna show you how this works, and we're gonna create kind of a, a fictitious store here. So let's do the brittle box. All right, so we're gonna type in our email. And as I mentioned before, this is completely free, which is a little bit crazy to believe, but to be honest with you, it is. There are no catches and no gimmicks. The only fee that they have is actually paid for by your customer at checkout. There's a 10% fee that they collect, and that is specifically solely dedicated to building out cast iron and adding more features, and it helps them uh, as software designers build out something that's even easier to use and more uh, efficient for the food entrepreneur. So let's try it and see what we can do here. All right. Okay, so we've got our store. So once you actually log in and you create an account with your email and a password, we are going to go through, the first thing you have to do is you're gonna tell what type of products do you want to make? So if you happen to be doing beverages, uh, produce or snacks, literally also this thing is open to a gamut and literally infinite amount of different food products and types of foods that you can use. So if you're, like I said before, if you're creating a kitchen-based business, if you're running a commercial kitchen and you wanna create a packaged food product, or if you wanna fill orders specifically solely to be either delivered or actually have someone come and pick it up, you can do that. But you have gotta distinguish which particular type of product you're gonna have. So this will help customize your store setup. So for us, let's do uh, baked goods. And we're gonna do snacks. And then down here, which of these common allergens are present in your kitchen? Now, something to keep in mind. If you're tapping into a commercial kitchen where there is potentially the use of shellfish or even fish or other like soybeans, things that you may not traditionally use in your own kitchen if you're cottage food-based business, but you're going to a commercial kitchen, make sure that you actually tick that box. Because if you are, again, working in a facility that happens to have other people producing items that may be fish or seafood or shellfish, you wanna make sure you cover yourself and have those allergens ticked in the box, okay? So for us, I don't necessarily use that. So I'm gonna use what I use, which is eggs. We do newt nuts, tree nuts and wheat, peanuts and soy nuts. Now, let's go ahead and hang up the next. This is actually creating the foundation for your store right now as we do this. So it's literally gonna be building it out. And I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. Okay, so your first name, let's say Damien, and my last name is Roberti. Where are you located? So in here, you would put your location if you happen to be um, working in a, out of your home and you're creating, again, a cottage food business. 
you can use this website, as I mentioned before, because later I'm going to show you, you can actually have three different ways you can deliver, pick up, or you can ship uh, the product, okay? So let's go ahead and we've got the foundation of the belt, okay? We've got the brittle box name. So this is also really quick to show you. When you go through the setup, it's actually gonna cross off all of the different steps that you have done so far, which is fantastic. So you don't have to write anything down and keep track of everything. It does it for you as you build out the store. Okay, so we got our sign up page. We got the name of our store. Now, add your products. Now, here we go. I'm gonna show you how we add a product and again, if you are looking to create something other than baked goods, if you literally, you can even, if you had a ghost kitchen, you can create an entire menu on here. And I'm gonna show you how that works, uh, but you can add the products that you're looking to sell. So first off, your title. Let's do chocolate uh, pretzels with toppings, okay? All right. So a brief description, the one thing you wanna keep in mind when you start doing your descriptions, basically you wanna do about two to three sentences in my opinion, you don't wanna to go too, too much further or too much in depth than that. Uh, reason being is that you wanna keep it as SEO as possible also, you wanna optimize the information that you're putting in the title and the description without getting too wordy, okay? So let's do, uh, these are handmade pretzels. They're, they're gonna be coated in chocolate and topped with an assorted toppings. All right. Now, we are gonna go over here and we want to add a product. And let's go and get this crossed out. All right. So we're gonna pull up some images. Let's get some of our chocolate pretzel rod images. All right. Click on that and that on the right side is where your image will load. Now, you can add on here, we offer three ways to deliver these items. Check below to see how you can get your order. All right, so let's scroll down a little bit here and allergen information. So you wanna let your customers know if your product contains any of the following, but also, anything that could be potentially cross-contaminated. Now that means if you're working on a surface, specifically on a, on a table or a prep surface within a kitchen, if any of these products come in contact with that, there is a potential for what's known as cross-contamination. So you wanna make sure that you have yourself covered. I don't really work with shellfish or any type of fish or seafood, so I'm not gonna tick those in our commercial kitchen that we have, but I do work with all of these items. And then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna set your inventory. I actually make everything to order. So I never necessarily run out of anything. We always have the ingredients on hand. So I just put like a large number. I put 99,999. That just lets me know that I can keep track of how many we sell because I'm always gonna be available to make them, okay? Now, the product status right now is active. The default is always active. So that means when you create a listing, it's automatically gonna be put into your store. You don't have to activate it, okay? Now, if you're not sure just yet, you wanna keep it active, you can definitely tick the box and make it inactive. Now. Dietary information. These are definitely not dairy-free because it's chocolate. Uh, Gluten-free, keto, kosher. If you make a product that falls in line with any of these, definitely want to click the box, okay? If you, let's say, um, local, if you're getting most of your ingredients locally or if you're producing a product that's bringing together products that are locally grown, check the box because there's a lot of customers who prefer to try to support local businesses and that's one way that you can let them know. Okay, now vegan and paleo chocolate covered pretzel rods are not necessarily in, in line with any of these items. So you wanna go ahead and set your price and that's gonna be determined based upon how many you have. Let me go back up here. This is gonna be a 16 count. And then we'll make sure we put that in here. 16 pretzel rods. Freshly made to order. All right, okay, so we wanna make sure, of course, we sell, spell everything correctly. All right, come down here, and as we go down, we filled out our price. Now you have to create a category. So now that you're in here, you wanna make sure that you create a category. You're gonna add a new, and I'm gonna make a category dedicated to pretzel rods, and then you're gonna check it, and you're all set, okay? 
Now, you could add customization. Now, this is where I was talking about earlier about the ghost kitchen. If, for instance, you had a, a pizzeria or a sandwich shop or something small like a kitchen that you rented and you wanted to create a ghost kitchen, have a website dedicated to that, you can add customization where you can literally add toppings, uh, let's say for a pizza, for a sandwich, for anything that would require a multitude of toppings. You can do that with cast iron. That's what's so impressive about the software. So select many options. So you want to go through here. And let's say, for instance, for this pretzels, there's a lot of different toppings we use. So let's say toppings, and I could put on here coconut. And I could charge, let's say, a dollar extra. And again, if you were doing something along the lines that was even a salad, if it was a pizza, if it was a sandwich or hamburger, whatever that may be that you're doing, you can add that on here. So if it happened to be a pizza, you could literally put pepperoni. Um, see if I spelled that right there, okay. And that's a dollar. You can add that onto it. Now, obviously, pretzels are not going to have that type of a topping, so we don't want to add specifically that. But I can add chocolate. I can do chocolate drizzle. If you're doing muffins, if you're doing cakes, if you're doing anything that's a baked good and you had a certain topping or an infused flavor, you can add that on here and you can charge the customer extra for it. That's what's amazing. As I, as I mentioned before, that Cast Iron has thought of all of this and it's dedicated solely for food entrepreneurs. I'm not kidding you. They've got it down to a science. So everything that you see on here, you can add. So if you had, let's say, candy toppings, and we'll do one more. And again, these will be available for the customer and they can choose it as they wish. And you're all set. And we're going to go back up here. We're going to save. Okay, so let me show you the overview real quick so you understand. All right, so we created a listing. You get a little celebra celebratory graphic there. That's pretty cool. So you've got your products on here. Of course, you can always add more and get help with this. So if you need help, if you're not too sure, again, through my walkthrough, just definitely click on the help button and that will bring you over to some additional help. Now, fulfillment options. This is where it gets very cool because again, this is a huge, like I mentioned before, not to be redundant, but it is a game changer for cottage food businesses because you can use this actually as a website for your cottage food. If you're selling at farmer's market, you're selling locally, you simply give people as they buy your product, give them either a business card or brochure that has your cast iron website. They can go on and order products from you. And again, the fulfillment is what I'm about to show you. They can pick it up, you can deliver it to them. Now, the one thing about cottage food when you're working from home, you can't ship it over state lines, but you can do delivery within the state. For most states, that's actually legal. So, local pickup. So, the fulfillment name, this is going to be local pickup. Okay, and we have it set. And that's going to be local pickup. We have local delivery or shipping. So, local pickup would be you can either meet somebody somewhere if you're making a product from cottage food, or if you're in your kitchen, your, your commercial kitchen, and you're in a kitchen product and you have a a uh, kitchen uh, business, you can have them meet you at that kitchen or give them the address and they can do a local pickup, okay? Now, let me go down here and uh, the date and time and location. So uh, we offer um, local pickup on Mondays and Fridays at 3 p.m., let's say, okay? And then you would type in your zip code, whatever that may be, if it was um, 30534 or I know 210. Now, there's a, you can also, also charge a pickup fee if you wanted to. If that was something that you wanted to do, you can type it in here and that would be added to their order when they're done. Also, you can do pickup minimums. So if, it's, if you're gonna offer the local pickup service, you may say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna have a $25 minimum. So you have to order at least that much, which is actually a good way to drive sales. So somebody wants a local pickup, they're gonna take advantage of that, but you gotta meet the minimum. You get to determine that, okay? Very, very simple. And then you hit save. We got that done. We offered, you can add more fulfillment. Here's what I was telling you about. So now you can do local delivery, okay? We deliver within five miles. So that lets people know that yes, you know what? You have a delivery service. So if you're doing cakes, maybe you're offering a variety of candies and you have a very large order for like a candy bar that would be for like a wedding or a different event, you wanna offer local delivery. So you say, uh, we can customize delivery times based on your order, okay? So this would allow you the opportunity to make even larger sales because you're gonna set a larger minimum because you are gonna be delivering it now and obviously that's gonna take up your time. So you could be doing $125 order minimum, 
and there's zero delivery fee because you're just going to have a set minimum. So once you do that, you'll have it all good to go. And of course you can do a zip code of where you might be and then hit save. And you're all set to go. Now, add a profile picture. And again, as I mentioned, this literally the setup is going to walk you through step by step. And once you see this green check mark, you know that you've already got that done, so you don't have to keep track of anything. It does it for you. All right, so let's add a profile. So this is where you can customize the store. This is where it gets really cool. So now you can either get your own image if you've got one, or if you want to use one of their pre-made templated uh, images, which are actually quite beautiful, as a matter of fact. Um, let's say we're going to go with this one. So I chose the one there, and then we are going to add to the story. Now, you want to add a little bit about um, our story. In the description, you're going to put uh, me and my wife started our candy business 12 years ago. We love and are passionate about what we make. We hope you enjoy our products. And if you have any questions, let us know. Now, of course, you can go a little bit deeper into it, but I'm just showing you the basics on how to get to set up for your story. So this is a little bit about us and how we got started. The reason why it's kind of important too is um, artists and craft food makers and small family businesses, they really thrive and, and, and people really interested in the backstory behind how you get started. So when you do this, it's really important because it actually adds to your brand and adds to the whole um, story behind how you got started and people love to hear about that. Um, people love success stories. People love to hear that. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, let me go through a profile image. Normally, you can actually add an image of yourself or maybe you and your wife or, you know, whatever family member, whoever you are that's working. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and upload one of our cupcake images. And we're all set. And right here, by the way, you can add your social links because this will appear on the front of your store and your Instagram and Facebook accounts you can add on there as well. And the allergen information is always going to be present on there too, which is great because before somebody buys something, they'll have an opportunity to see exactly what kind of allergens you may have. And you're all set. So let's go back up here and publish. All right. So we got that. Those are good to go. And we're going to go on to the next step. So over here, we've already got half of these filled out. So you want to add your logo. Now, let me show you something really cool really quick so you understand. This side where it says website, you already have your URL. This is going to be the direct link to your website, okay? So it's going to be the shop at castiron.me slash and then the name of your store. And again, you can upload a store logo if you've got one. I'm going to go ahead and add another one of our amazing dessert images. If you don't have a logo, check down below in this, uh, this uh, video down in the description. We have a fantastic link to Fiverr where you can actually get a really cool logo. I've used Fiverr probably two dozen times. They do fantastic logos. You can get them very inexpensively. So your store name too, right on here, you're all set to go. Uh, Marketing Food Online, that's our email and you're good to go. Use the logo and store name. So your store logo will appear at the top of your store's homepage, okay? And also at the checkout process and the store emails. So go ahead and use that and then publish. See how super simple this is? Literally, like I said, it is so easy and fast to use this. And you can literally have a professional website that's dedicated to your food business up and running in probably less than a couple hours, especially if you're relatively new at this, okay? All right, so we just need to add our social links, which we'll do shortly. And let me see, we're gonna go down. I'm gonna take one moment and then we are gonna do our second video on the remaining one. So, here is the area, by the way, the order section. Let me show you a little bit about this. This is where once your order has come in, you're going to have an order show here with a number of customers, status, type, date, and total. So they keep track of everything. That's the other thing. You don't have to write anything down. A cast iron will keep track of all of the names, emails for marketing purposes, the sales, the different way that it's uh, actually either gonna be delivered or gonna be picked up, that's gonna be on there as well. They're gonna have an order number 
and the email, and all of that's gonna be captured at the sale. So I'm gonna wrap up here for this one. Stay tuned for our second part of the video. I'm gonna show you the remaining part of these features, and you definitely wanna check the link down below to Cast Iron, get your store launched. You can get up and running literally in a matter of a few minutes. So check out part two, and I'll see you guys in our next video.